Morning. This is Arnie Waters here at Waters Capital in Boston, Massachusetts. Some say that this is the best January for gold in 32 years. One of the things that we found uh, quite interesting is that gold coins, both numismatic and uh, straight bullion coins, uh, have had record sales during the month of January as well. We consider this a very interesting sign because uh, taken together with net longs on the Commodity Future Trading uh, Corporation reports, even though open interest isn't as we would like it, uh, this reinforces our view that this is going to be a big year for gold with 2400 being our objective. Uh, secondly, before we go to rare earths, I want to talk about the euro. People are getting hammered on the euro during the month of January. The euro is not a day trade. Euro trading is a structural trade with the demise of the European Union coming over the next couple of years. There will be at least one bankruptcy this year by a sovereign nation within that combine. Uh, this is a fact uh, because they do not have the resources to solve the problem on their own and we don't have the money to solve it for them. I'm not going into whether we ought to save them, um, but that's not, our, we just simply don't have the money to do that. <clears throat> uh, lastly, as we look once again at uh, rare earths, number one, in uh, Mali Corp, uh, they'll be producing 8,000 to 12,000 tons of rare earths with a good mix of heavies in there uh, during 2012. Um, they are the leader in a secure source outside China. It is inevitable that the Chinese will continue to pull stunts on rare earths until, uh, they're <clears throat> until uh, other people have their own supply. So between what's in the United States and what's in Estonia for Mali Corp, they're going to have some good production this year. Uh, Avalon uh, Rare Metals, uh, which is at Thor Lake in the Northwest Territories, has a 26.1% ratio of heavies to lights. Uh, on 4.298 million tons uh, so far discovered. Now, one of the things about Avalon is they're in the phase of bankable feasibility study. So they've had a feasibility study, now they're going to a bankable feasibility study. And that's exactly what it means. It means, is it feasible to provide financing? So these numbers are all lovely and charming, but the fact of the matter is they don't expect to be into production at least till 2015 or 2016. So we encourage you to take a look at Avalon with a jaundiced eye. Quest is in a similar situation. They don't expect to be uh, all these uh, stocks. My corps in, in the United States. The other stocks we're going to talk about are traded in Toronto. Uh, Quest Rare Minerals, uh, they're up at Strange Lake in Quebec. 39% uh, of their 2. Point million tons are expected to be heavies. Uh, which is a preferred ratio, but they're not going to be into production into 2015 or 2016 either uh, with a total 12,000 tons of TRIO at that time. Uh, RES is at Bear Lake Lodge, excuse me, Bear Lodge in Wyoming. They're expected to be uh, in production in 2015, 2016 as well, and they're quite rich in the lights. Uh, again, you know, we, we have to look at some of these as really development stage junior miners. They're not in production. Uh, they're not going to be in production anytime soon. So there should be some good opportunities for profit and for serious losing. But keep, we're keeping an eye on these things for you. And if you want to know specifically what we think moment to moment, please don't hesitate to give me a jingle or send me an email. So this is Arnie Waters. Aim for the ice flows not the open water. Have a super day. Thank you.